Walsh. One-time cowboy, writer with Pancho Villa, longtime leading man of the screen, and today, Hollywood's most famous director of action films. I've seen a lot of hard-riding action in my day, but I think this new picture, A Distant Trumpet, includes some of the most exciting and dramatic scenes I've ever filmed. Interesting facts about famous people. Raoul Walsh, great Western director. After making videos on some of the great Western directors, John Ford and Sam Peckinpah, today I'm making one on another of the Western genre's greatest directors, Raoul Walsh. For this first video on Walsh, I will make a selection of 10 movies. Walsh was making movies for many decades, leaving a great body of work, from silent through to talking movies. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Let's get into it. A Distant Trumpet, 1964. West Point graduate, Lieutenant Hazard is posted to Fort Delivery, Arizona, where he has to deal with lax discipline, romantic complications, Apaches, and his conflicting feelings towards the Indians. This was the final film directed by Raoul Walsh, before his death on December 31, 1980, at the age of 93. Troy Donahue and Suzanne Plachette were married to each other at the time of filming. Stars Troy Donahue, Suzanne Plachette, Diane McBain, James Gregory. Maybe we ought to pass been betrayed by the United States Army. We differentiated among these people. We could never stop. You will have my resignation within the hour. The Sheriff of Fractured Jaw, 1958. After inadvertently stopping an Indian attack on his stagecoach while traveling in the American West, an English gentleman finds himself appointed sheriff of a nearby town. This was the first Western to be filmed in Spain. Jane Mansfield was six weeks pregnant when production began. The concept of Tibbs, adoption by the tribe, would be re-explored and expanded years later by such films as A Man Called Horse, Little Big Man and Dances with Wolves. Stars Kenneth Moore, Jane Mansfield, Henry Hull, Bruce Cabot. The King and Four Queens, 1956. Opportunistic conman Dan Kehoe ingratiates himself with the cantankerous mother of four outlaws and their beautiful widows in order to find their hidden gold. Clark Gable formed a production company with his The Tall Men 1955 co-star Jane Russell and her husband Robert Waterfield in order to produce this film. However, the stress of producing took such a toll on the 55-year-old Gable's already guarded health that he never produced another movie. According to an article, director Raoul Walsh shot three different endings and planned to have preview audiences choose the one they liked for the film's general release. Stars Clark Gable, Eleanor Parker, Jean Wills, Barbara Nichols. When Gable tangles with four Hellcats in the hottest western ever made. The Tall Men, 1955. Two brothers discharged from the Confederate Army join a businessman for a cattle drive from Texas to Montana, where they run into raiding Jay Hawkers, angry Sioux, rough terrain, and bad weather. Most of the long shots of Clark Gable were actually a double. According to studio press releases, 4,000 head of cattle were assembled for this picture, the largest herd used for a film up to that time. As Clark Gable was 54, 36-year-old Cameron Mitchell was cast as his teenage brother. Clark Gable crashed dieted before filming began in order to lose 25 pounds. Stars Clark Gable, Jane Russell, Robert Ryan, Cameron Mitchell. Ain't nobody gonna stop me. You got no use for that gun tonight. 
Don't make me do it, man. Don't make me. Saskatchewan, 1954. In 1877, Western Canada, a police inspector revolted against his inept commander, taking a safer route to the US border in order to stop invading hostile Indians. On the set of this film, Alan Ladd became seriously ill with an infection, but insisted on continuing his work on the movie. None of the filming was actually done in Saskatchewan. It was instead filmed in the neighboring province of Alberta and at Universal Studios in California. Stars Alan Ladd, Shelley Winters, J. Carol Nash, Hugh O'Brien. Gun Fury, 1953. In Arizona, Frank Staten's gang robs a stagecoach and kidnaps Ben Warren's fiancée, prompting Warren to pursue Slayton. Rock Hudson suffered an attack of appendicitis on the last day of filming. This film was shot in 3D. However, director Raoul Walsh only had one eye, so he was never able to see the film in the process in which he shot it. Stars Rock Hudson, Donna Reed, Philip Carey, Roberta Haynes. He had taken another man's woman and was going to keep her, even if he had to kill to do it. Surprise, no questions about Miss Ballard. She's a delightful girl, especially when you get to know her. All right, track off then. Curly's trying to get away with the girl. Distant Drums, 1951. After destroying a Seminole fort, American soldiers and their rescued companions must face a dangerous Everglades and hostile Indians in order to reach safety. Except for Larry Chance, the actors playing Seminole Indian warriors were in fact real Seminoles. Director Raoul Walsh hired two local snake experts to clear rattlers and water moccasins out of the swamp areas to be used for shooting each day. The swamp men were not adverse to the job, Walsh wrote. They got paid by the studio, and in addition, any snake they killed or captured became their property. Stars Gary Cooper, Murray Alden, Richard Webb, Ray Teal. Along the Great Divide, 1951. A U.S. Marshal and two deputies rescue a cattle rustler from a lynch mob, led by a local cattle baron convinced that the rustlers also killed his son. Kirk Douglas's first western. After the death of Virginia Mayo in 2005, Kirk Douglas became the last living cast member until his death in February 2020. Stars Kirk Douglas, Virginia Mayo, John Agar, Walter Brennan. Montana, 1950. An Australian sheepman comes to Montana looking for grazing space and is opposed by local ranchers and a wealthy cattlewoman. Gary Cooper and Ronald Reagan were originally announced for the lead before Errol Flynn was cast. In this film, Errol Flynn played an Australian. In real life, he was from Tasmania, an island that forms part of Australia. Stars Errol Flynn, Alexis Smith, S. Z. Sackle, Douglas Kennedy. New chapter in the winning of the West. Flynn has Morgan Lane for a guitar. I promise I won't let you down. What you thinking of? I run the finest ranch in town. Reckon, Reckon I'm, I'm in, in love. love. I give him for two dollars and I lose two dollars now. Give him for one dollar and you'll only lose one dollar. Oh, oh. On my glitter and cold blood. You either get out of town or you get the same thing as he got. <laughs> I told you, you move across that valley, I might, I'd kill you. Colorado, 
Colorado Territory, 1949. In Colorado Territory, outlaw Wes McQueen escapes jail to pull a railroad robbery, but, upon meeting pretty settler Julie Ann, he wonders about going straight. Colorado Territory is a remake of Walsh's 1941 film, I Sierra, 1940, with a Western setting. The first American movie to be banned in West Germany due to being an example of gangster films which glorify antisocial elements. Stars Joel McCree, Virginia Mayo, Dorothy Malone, Henry Hull. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate your likes and subscribers. Hit the notification button to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel and check out my Facebook page. The links are in the description. I am Wrangler. Bye for now. See you again soon. I'm United States Marshal here. Let you down. What you think and all. Interesting facts about famous people.